One of the problems that players have, of any standard really, is playing with unintentional side. As a result of that unintentional side, um, they start to cue across the ball or aim differently. It's a chicken and egg situation. Which comes first? Are they queuing across the ball so they put side on? Or are they putting side on so they queue across the ball? It's irrelevant which will come on comes first. What really matters is that we have introduced a flaw to counteract the first flaw. So now we've got two problems. The first one of which is that we don't know where the centre of the cue ball is. A couple of ways to check that. One is if we do a loop bridge, cue up to the ball, let go of the back end, and I come up and look down on the cue ball. Now that is the true picture. I mentioned this in another video. We look down on it. That is the true picture. Once we put our chin on the cue, our master eye takes over to a degree and we start to look along the cue. That can be the false picture. And we need to balance this false picture with the true picture. So coming back to our master eye and the pencil there, put your chin on the cue where it should be and have a look at what it looks like to you. Now we know that this is centre ball because we've looked down on it. We may have been playing with right hand side, we've established that this is the centre, we put our chin back on the cue, it may look as though we're playing with left hand side, but we know that that is centre. We have proved it by looking down on the ball. Now take it from me, although it will feel uncomfortable once you first do it, the brain will adapt. It will adapt given a little period of time. Now I was asked the question, how long will that take? Will it take a couple of sessions? Will it take a couple of years for the brain to adapt? Well, it's an indeterminate answer to that. Certainly if it's going to take a couple of years, that would be ridiculous. But it certainly won't happen in a couple of sessions. It needs correcting over a period of time. And let's say if you're playing three or four times a week, certainly a couple of weeks, you should establish where the centre is. The problem is that these little flaws tend to creep, in, creep back in over a period of time, even for top players. So just keep an eye on it over a period of time. Another way to check that you're hitting the centre is to come down to the bottom of the cue ball now just so you can see properly here, what I've done is I've raised the cue up uh, to allow the camera to get in in close view. Here you can see the two arcs of the cue ball either side of the cue. Now there, there, I'm fairly even, so I'm in the centre of the cue ball. If I'm to one side, you will see that the arcs of the cue ball at the bottom are slightly uneven. So that would indicate right hand side here indicates left hand side. So obviously from here, I'm in the middle and I'm okay. So from there, all I need to do is just bring the cue up and play the shot that way. That's just another way of checking. To determine that you're not cueing across the ball, what I've done here is stuck some tape on the table along the bolt line, and we can use that tape. From here, just to make sure I'm queuing straight, play an imaginary shot, and just check you're still on the tape. If you haven't got that facility, a couple of pieces of chalk. From there, we did this in a video with young Wesley Cooper, where he'd get down and just check, he'd be looking to the front, drop his cue, and see if he's even. Now there, I'm slightly to the right, so I need to be in the middle. Your brain will adapt given that time, but I can't give you a definite time. If you're playing three or four times a week, shouldn't take too long at all, but you will need to keep checking it. Please just remember that anything you do, any change, it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel different, right? 
but you've got to realize it is correct and then the brain will adapt please don't go back to what you feel is comfortable that that will not work you'll just stagnate maintain the ability you've got what we're after is improvement all right bear with it stick with it work at it you only get out of out of uh, anything to, in relation to how much you put in good luck with your practice Thank you.